Hey guys, Lacey Elizabeth here. Today we've got the brand new holiday drop. This is from Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty line. If you guys are OGs to the channel, you guys know that I didn't love the line when it dropped. I didn't like the foundation, the oil was separating from the color, and then this one says it's flammable. What? Let's try this on, test it out, and as always, I'm gonna give this product a score. Let's get into this video. Very cute packaging, love that. They are quite small compared to the packaging, but again, this is a holiday set, so you are getting, you know, a value kind of smaller size. So we've got the colors Peace, Hope, and Bliss right here. So I'm gonna actually start with this one, which is Peace. Packaging is really nice. It's like their standard packaging, it's just really mini. Love that, so cute. Love that little guy, okay. So this is Hope. I'm just gonna take my ring finger and just gently, that's pigmented. It's very creamy. You can see why everyone loves this, but definitely go in with just a little bit. This does blend out, shearing out very nicely. You got a good amount of payoff there. It's a beautiful shade. You can see why everyone loves it. Now it is pilling just a little bit on my skin. But then again, this is my hand and not my face. Huh, strange. Okay, I'm excited to try this. Blends out really good. Up next, this is Peace. Very beautiful, corally, peachy, orange. This would look amazing on dark skin tones. This is blending out beautiful. It's very pigmented. A little bit will definitely go a long way. It shears out just as beautifully as the pink one. Super impressed. That's a beautiful shade. This is the shade called Bliss. This one is kind of a mix between a peach and a pink. It's very, very pretty. The color is stunning. This is almost a mix between the two shades that I just swatched. This one is quite lighter in pigment. So if you're looking for something that isn't so intense, this would be the one I would recommend. That shears out beautiful, but it's definitely a lot lighter than the other two. All right, I'm gonna go in with two of these shades on both of my cheeks. They definitely do dry down quite quickly. I wanna bring that to you guys' attention before I start because the swatch on the back of my hand, you know, basically dried down almost instantly after I sheared it out with my finger. So that is something that you need to be aware of when you are applying it. So I'm going to take some of this shade right here called Peace. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that pigment and put it on my palette. For a brush today, I'm gonna to be using this one right here by Juvia's Place. It's just very fine. I love it. It's a rounded tip. This one is the Small Complexion Brush and it is a J221. I'm just gonna pick up that by stippling it on the back of my palette. A little bit will go a long way. You guys won't need that much product. I'm going to just go in right here, starting with the apples of my cheeks. That's pigmented. Again, I am going in with a light hand because I do know how much slip it has. This is really pretty. I get why everyone's raving about this. Now, as you guys know, if you guys are like ride or die fans and you saw when I reviewed the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty line way back when it launched, I didn't love it. it honestly, that foundation just wasn't for me and I haven't tried any other products since, but everyone raves about this. And I think this is really pretty. Now it is a light. I am gonna go in, pick up a bit more of that product and we're going to just build that up. I wanna see how buildable this color is. That's pretty. The color is stunning. It's a gorgeous peach. Blends out really, really easy. Loving that. Okay, Selena. This is really nice. Now for the other side, let's test out Bliss. This is that gorgeous, deeper pink shade. So I'm just going to tap that color, stipple some of that color onto the brush. 
it picks up really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna again start with the apple of my cheek, doing little circular motions and bringing that towards the hairline to apply this cream product. It does apply pretty sheer. When you are using a brush, that's pretty. That is a very pretty color. Selena, you did a really great job with the color story on these blushes. I'm actually super impressed. Now I am gonna go in and pick up just a little bit more of that product. I actually think because this one, I feel like it shears out so much more. I'm going to pick up just two more dots of color. I don't wanna be super blushed. Obviously I'm gonna take this off because I am using two different colors, but we're just going to, again, stipple that onto the brush. I just wanna see how this builds. Can I get a brighter pink with this? Okay. It's building a little bit. I can see like there's a definitely a color difference. For cream blush, let's just talk about it for a moment. This is applying really nice. I'm not having any problems with it. It shears out on both sides. Both colors are gorgeous. It's giving me that dewy glow, but it's not being too pigmented and you're not over blushed. So I do like that about the product but I do want to just bring this to your attention. It doesn't build up to get like a little bit more of an evening look. This is definitely more of a daytime blush if you are going for that look. But you know what? I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of that product. We have it on the pan. I just feel like this isn't gonna wear very long on me. It's nice, but it's not like doing it for me. It's not giving me that wow factor. It is very natural. So if you are looking for something in the more natural, I'm kind of a full glam kind of a girl. You guys know that. That's why you come here. But this is pretty. It's just more on the natural side. You got me? You getting it? Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely more of a softer daytime. Go to the office, you know, Zoom calls, you know, throw on a little bit of makeup. This is going to be great for you. This will be, you know, what you would grab, honestly. But for me, I don't know. I like it, but do I love it? Let's find out. All right, guys, you know what? It's time to score this product. Starting with application. So this applied amazing. I have nothing bad to say about it. It sheared out beautifully. It's very, very emollient on the skin. It's very hydrating. Loved that about it. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. Up next, pigment. The color story is beautiful. She did a really amazing job with the colors, but the pigment in itself, you guys saw me. I applied this one right here, this beautiful coral shade to my face first. This one's called Peach. I applied it right here. That was about 15 minutes ago. This is looking still on point. I still look peach and dewy and beautiful. This one right here, I did try to build up. This one was the shade Bliss. And honestly, I feel like it's just fading and it's been on for like 15 minutes. I did build this up a couple of times with that pigment. I added more to the pan, added more to the brush. You guys saw it. And it's like really disappearing on me. So that doesn't impress me 15 minutes in. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. And finally, value. This set is $32 Canadian, which is not bad. It brings it down to like $10 and change per little blush. So it's not bad. If you guys wanna try it out, I think it's decent. A full size of one of these is actually $26 Canadian. So honestly, for the little amount you get in here, I think it's not horrible. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 for value, giving us a final score of 23 out of 30. Now, should you buy it, wishlist it, or avoid it? I would definitely pick this one up if you guys are curious like I was and you want to try it out. It's not bad. It actually brings the price down to about $10 and change per shade. You get to try them out. They're little sample sizes. They're really cute. Great Christmas gift. Perfect stocking stuffer. It's clean beauty. It's made from recycled materials. She actually puts a little bit of the profits that she gets back into a foundation. So like it's charitable. So I actually don't mind that. This, I really do like. This one just isn't working for me on my skin type, but you guys might have a different, you know, it just might work differently for you guys. So again, if you guys love it, let me know in the comments down below. I am gonna be doing a little bit of a fun Christmas series for you guys. Can we even say Christmas? It's gonna be a holiday series. And we're gonna be talking like Met Gala, gorgeous eye looks. So definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss when those videos drop because you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right guys, until next time, live, love, and the plus. Bye.